Have you ever felt like the weight of the world was crushing down on you? Like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, and you're left wondering where God is in the midst of your pain. My friends, I want you to know that no matter how fierce the storm raging around you may be, you are not alone. God is right there with you, even when you can't see or feel His presence. Today, we're going to explore how God walks alongside us through life's toughest trials. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 43 verse 2, God makes us this powerful promise. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. What an amazing assurance from our Heavenly Father. He doesn't say if you pass through deep waters, but when. God knows we will face trials in this life, but He promises to be right there with us every step of the way. Just as a loving parent holds their child's hand as they learn to swim, our Father in Heaven holds us close as we navigate life's turbulent waters. My dear friends, no storm is too great for our God. He is the master of the wind and waves. The same God who parted the Red Sea and calmed the storm on the Sea of Galilee is watching over you today. Take heart and be encouraged. You are never alone in your struggles. God sees your pain, He hears your cries, and He's working all things together for your good. Let us now reflect on God's unfailing presence. My friends, when we're in the midst of a storm, it's easy to feel abandoned and alone. We might question where God is or why He's allowing us to suffer. But the truth is, God never leaves our side. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, we are reminded, And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Do not fear, nor be dismayed. This verse tells us that God doesn't just walk beside us. He goes before us. He's already in our tomorrow, preparing the way and fighting our battles. When we feel overwhelmed, we can take comfort in knowing that our God is always one step ahead. He sees the bigger picture and is working things out for our good, even when we can't understand it. Consider the story of Hagar in the wilderness. Alone, afraid, and out of resources, she felt utterly abandoned. Yet God saw her in her distress and provided for her needs. He opened her eyes to see a well of water, saving her and her son. God may not always prevent the difficult situations in our lives, but He promises to be with us through them. His presence can transform our perspective and give us strength that we never knew we had. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, God says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. My dear friends, this is a promise you can cling to when the winds of adversity blow. God's presence brings peace in the chaos, strength in our weakness, and hope in our despair. He is our anchor in the storm, our refuge in times of trouble. No matter what you're facing today, remember that you're not facing it alone. God is with you, strengthening you, helping you, and upholding you with His mighty hand. Take comfort in His presence and let it be your source of courage and peace. In your darkest moments, remember 
that God sees you just as he saw Hagar. He knows your pain, understands your struggles, and is working even now to bring you through. Trust in his unfailing presence and unwavering love for you. Now, let us turn our attention to see God's purpose in the storm. My friends, have you ever wondered why God allows storms in our lives? It's a question that has puzzled believers for generations. But let me assure you, God always has a purpose, even in our pain. In Romans 8 verse 28, we read, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. This verse doesn't say that all things are good, but God works them together for our good. Even in the midst of life's storms, God is at work shaping us and molding us into the people He created us to be. Just as a silversmith refines precious metal through fire, God often uses the heat of our trials to purify our faith and character. Consider the story of Jonah. God used a fierce storm to redirect Jonah's path and teach him valuable lessons about obedience and compassion. Through this experience, Jonah's understanding of God's mercy grew tremendously. Similarly, God may be using the storms in your life to deepen your faith, strengthen your character, or redirect your path. In James 1 verses 2 to 4, we're encouraged. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. My dear friends, this doesn't mean we should enjoy suffering. Rather, we can find joy in knowing that God is using our trials to produce something beautiful in us. He's developing our patience, strengthening our faith, and equipping us for His purpose. In the storm, we often discover strengths we never knew we had. We learn to rely on God in ways we never have before. And often, we emerge from the storm better equipped to comfort others who are going through similar trials. Remember, God's ultimate goal is not our comfort, but our growth and His glory. He loves you too much to leave you as you are. So when the storms of life hit, don't just pray for God to calm the storm. Pray for the strength to weather it, the wisdom to learn from it, and the faith to trust God through it. Your storm today may be preparing you for a greater purpose tomorrow. Trust in God's plan, even when you can't see it clearly. And now, let's focus on finding peace in the storm. My friends, when we're in the midst of a raging storm, peace can seem like an impossible dream. Yet, it's precisely in these moments that God offers us His supernatural peace. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, we're given this powerful promise. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This peace isn't dependent on our circumstances. It's a divine gift that defies logic and transcends our situation. When the world around us is in chaos, God offers us an inner calm that stands firm. Think of Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles. When faced with an overwhelming enemy army, instead of panicking, he turned to God in prayer and praise. And what was the result? God fought the battle for him, and Jehoshaphat's army didn't even have to lift a weapon. Similarly, our peace in the storm comes not from our own strength, but from our trust in God's power 
and goodness. In John 14, verse 27, Jesus tells us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. My dear friends, this peace is available to you right now, no matter what storm you're facing. It comes from knowing that the God who controls the universe is on your side. He's not distant or uninterested in your struggles. He's right there with you, ready to carry your burdens if you'll let him. So how do we access this peace? First, we must surrender our storms to God. Stop trying to control everything and trust in His wisdom and timing. Second, we need to shift our focus from our problems to God's promises. Meditate on His Word and let it anchor your soul in turbulent times. Also, we must practice gratitude. Even in the storm, there are blessings to be counted. Thankfulness shifts our perspective and opens our hearts to receive God's peace. Remember, the storm may be raging around you, but it doesn't have to rage within you. Let God's peace fill your heart and mind today. Trust that He's working all things for your good, even when you can't see it. And know that just as every storm in nature eventually passes, so too will the storms in your life. Hold on to hope, my friends. God is with you. He is for you, and He will see you through. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me, or listen to this prayer in faith, so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, acknowledging you as the Almighty God who reigns above every storm. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who commands the winds and the waves, and they obey you. You are my refuge and strength, my ever-present help in times of trouble, and there is nothing too hard for you. I worship you, Lord, because you are the God who calms the raging seas and brings peace in the midst of chaos. You are the anchor that holds firm when everything around me is shaking, and I declare that you are my strong tower, my shield, and my defender. I praise you because you are faithful, steadfast, and unchanging and your love surrounds me even in the darkest moments. You are the God who walks on water, who speaks peace to the storm, and who is with me no matter what I face. Thank you, Lord, for your constant presence in my life, especially when I'm going through storms. Thank you for never leaving me, nor forsaking me, for being my comforter, my guide, and my peace in every situation. I am grateful for your word that reminds me that you are with me, always, and that even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness of my sins, and for the times I have allowed fear and doubt to overshadow my faith in you. I also forgive those who have hurt me, just as you have forgiven me. Father, I come before you, declaring that I will not be overwhelmed by the storms of life because you are with me. I rebuke every spirit of fear, anxiety, and despair that tries to take hold of my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every lie of the enemy that tells me I am alone, defeated, or forgotten. And I declare that I am not abandoned. I am held by your mighty hand. Lord, 
teach me to trust you. Even when the waves are high and the winds are fierce, knowing that you are greater than any storm I face, I declare that I will not be shaken, for you are the rock on which I stand, and your presence is my anchor in the midst of every trial. I speak peace into my heart, my mind, and my circumstances, and I declare that no storm will steal my joy or my hope because you are with me. Lord, I ask that you would cover me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that you would quiet my soul when the noise of life becomes too loud and that you would remind me of your promises in every difficult moment. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. Strengthen me, Lord, to stand firm, to hold on to your word and to keep my eyes fixed on you, the author and finisher of my faith. Let your presence be my guiding light. And may I always remember that no matter how strong the storm, you are stronger. Father, I speak your blessings over my life today. I declare healing over my body, mind, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every sickness, pain, discomfort, and disease. I come against every attack of the enemy that seeks to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or weaken my faith, and I declare victory in the name of Jesus. I pray for your protection over me and my loved ones, that you would surround us with your angels and keep us safe from all harm. I plead the blood of Jesus over every area of my life and the lives of my loved ones, declaring that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come into agreement as we pray for each other, knowing that you are with us, standing in the midst of our storm. Lord, let your Holy Spirit guide us, comfort us, and remind us that we are never alone. We claim victory over every trial. We declare healing over every affliction, and we thank you for the strength that comes from knowing you are with us. Thank you, Lord, for being our refuge our peace, and our mighty warrior who fights on our behalf. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.